everybody, so new review today, we're talking about the upcoming third season of Titans on HBO Max. After spending those first two seasons on DC Universe, we finally get the shift over to HBO Max with the third season, with the first three episodes actually coming out all at once on August 12th. And once those episodes drop, we're gonna go right back to the one episode per week format. Thankfully, HBO Max is actually semi screeners for the first five episodes of Titans, but we're only gonna be talking about episodes one through three here because those are the episodes that are dropping next week. I may do spoiler reviews for all the episodes. If you want me to do a separate spoiler review, I am considering doing that. And of course, all the episodes going forward, there will probably be spoiler reviews. But for this one, this is non-spoiler, so you don't gotta worry about that here. As someone who is a fan of the show, I do think that season two as a whole was very hit or miss, so I am really glad that season three is a vast improvement on almost all fronts. Just within these first three episodes, they craft a very solid foundation for what's to come with the rest of season three. And they really waste no time hooking you in from the start and keeping you intrigued with the big and surprising twists and turns in every single episode, especially in episode three. I think that episode three is probably the strongest out of the first three episodes. And I can absolutely see why they want to release the first three episodes all at once, because I think that episode three probably has the most most moments that are going to get a lot of people talking. It's just a very shocking episode in general. As someone who is a big Batman fan, how could I not enjoy seeing the Titans move into Gotham City this time around? As the episodes unfold, you do see the big hurdles the Titans have to face going into Gotham, and it gives us some awesome action sequences in each and every episode. I do think that's one of the best things about these first three episodes is seeing the Titans actually work together. And of course, is isn't every single one of the members of the Titans. Some of them are off doing other things that I can't really delve into because they could be considered spoilers. But at least so far, I think they found that great balance between showcasing every everyone's main storylines while also actually having a storyline of them as a team because of course it is the Titans and you want to see them all get their time to shine not just Dick Grayson even if he probably does get probably main billing once again because it is very much a Batman Dick Grayson kind of story. I do really love Brendan Thwaites portrayal of Nightwing in the series. I think he does really elevate the material and one of the main reasons to watch the show because he has such great screen presence. We get to see him kick a lot more ass in the Nightwing costume in these first few episodes since he just got the Nightwing costume at the end of season two. Another thing that I thought was awesome about season three so far is the production of Design. I do think that overall the production design is a lot better in this season probably because of the fact that it is on HBO Max now and not DC Universe so they got some more cash but I love the new costume. Starfire especially I think that she has the biggest suit upgrade of the season so far so I'm excited to see her in that suit more because it's such a badass look and of course you actually have the Red Hood costume which is an awesome thing because it's just great to see Red Hood in live action but I do think it is very comic book accurate to what we see in the comic books with the costume and it is actually just a really cool thing to see in action. I think it's probably the best in the actual action scenes that Red Hood has so far. As far as Red Hood goes though in the actual series I'm kind of somewhat in the middle about him. I think that Curran Walters is actually doing a pretty great job as Jason Todd in the show. It just feels like it's just too soon for him to just turn into Red Hood especially so fast because I mean he, everything happens so fast in this show and he's already Red Hood. I feel like we could have used another season or two of him as Jason Todd before we push him into this Red Hood role. It's just a very abrupt transformation and his motivations at least are unclear for now but I am intrigued to see more of him as he actually is already setting himself up to to be a pretty great presence in season three as he takes on the Titans. As far as other new additions to the cast go in season three, I do think some of them are pretty good additions. Some of them I'm kind of just unsure about at the moment, just in the first couple episodes. Barbara Gordon probably stands out the most in these first three episodes as Commissioner Gordon. You definitely feel the tension and history between her and Dick Grayson as they reunite after so long and they have to work on this case together. It feels like we've only scratched the surface with her character in these first couple episodes, so I do think we're going to see a lot more unfold as the season progresses. Also, we do get a little bit of Tim Drake in these first three episodes. Honestly, there's not too much to say about his character. I just feel like I have to mention Tim Drake. He seems charming enough in his one or two scenes of screen time we've seen so far. So I actually am looking forward to seeing more Tim Drake in this season. I don't think he's going to be Robin by the end of the season, but you know, stranger things have happened. With the way that things move so fast in this show, he could be Robin in like one or two episodes for all we know. Probably the weirdest of all the new additions to the cast is Scarecrow, Jonathan Crane, as he's behind bars. And he's kind of like this Hannibal Lecter type role as Dick Grayson and him have conversations as he's trying to help out with the investigation that they're in with the murder case. There's still a lot more episodes to go in the show, but at least in these first few episodes, I wasn't like a huge fan of this portrayal of Scarecrow. He's like a pothead, which is kind of like an odd choice. Having Dick Grayson trade him weed for him helping with the investigation, and you see him like smoking bowls in his cell. One of the weirdest kind of additions, a story beats, if you will, for this season of Titans. Because as a whole, I do think they have improved when it comes to the writing, but there is still some pretty cringy dialogue in all of the episodes. They can't help themselves but throw in those random F-bombs. One of the very first few lines of dialogue in the very first episode is Jason Todd saying F the Joker. And it just gave me like PTSD flashbacks from first season where Robin said F Batman and the controversy that stirred up from that. Speaking of Batman, I do think that Ian Glenn is still not the greatest Batman as he is like kind of around as Bruce Wayne, but he's still off just being... Uh, I guess somewhere. He's like always on vacation. And I do think some of the stuff that he does in these first few episodes is going to cause a 
fan uproar, especially the way that we leave things in the end of episode one going into episode two. That's going to cause some controversy, I guarantee it, because I personally wasn't a big fan of it either. I've never been a really big fan of this portrayal of Bruce Wayne Batman, and I think that kind of like seals the deal for me when it comes to him as this character. While I don't think the first three episodes of season three of Titans are perfect by any means, I do think that they are a solid foundation for what's could come in the rest of the season. Very intrigued by the mystery that's going to be going on in the main storyline between our characters and Jason Todd and potentially other players that play as the story progresses. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I at least am intrigued to see what's going to happen each and every week so far. And I think it's going to be really exciting to talk about each and every week with you guys. We've gotten some great cliffhangers, whether they're controversial or not, for these first few episodes. So I will be intrigued to see what everybody thinks when the episodes drop on HBO Max next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. But now you've my thoughts about the first three episodes of season three of Titans on HBO Max. Share your thoughts down below. Are you looking forward to this series on HBO Max? Are you going to watch it day one? Not looking forward to it. And if you do get a chance to check out the show afterwards, make sure you share your thoughts down below. What do you think of the show when you get to check it out? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Either way, make sure you share your thoughts down below because part of the fun is having that conversation with you guys down below in the comment section because I like about all these movies and TV with you guys. Thank you so much for my reviews though. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like it, subscribe button. Okay, maybe distractions, unboxings, more on the channel. But next time, I'll see you guys later.